I'm Anil Kumar and here is a video for my student. When Skype and phone calls fail, videos prevail. So here we will learn how to write equation of even degree polynomial from the graph. I have another video on odd degree polynomial. So with these two videos you should be in a position to write equation for any polynomial. So let me take even degree polynomial and we'll talk about a polynomial with degree 10 so 10 degree polynomial right so I'll sketch a graph and we'll try to make a degree 10 polynomials graph first and then write down its equation okay so you learn how to even sketch a graph correct so let's start let's assume that our polynomial has negative leading coefficient that means end behavior is that it goes from third coordinate to one, right? So let's assume that we have different kind of zeros. So let's consider a zero which is odd degree. So it could be three, five, seven, or something like this. And then let's say another linear, okay? And then we have another function which is kind of even degree, right? Now it ends here, so we can stop here for the time being. We'll connect these points to make graph of a polynomial. Remember, polynomial is a continuous function, right? So, smooth curve. So, we'll connect these points. So, we can connect like this, okay? And then these points, okay? We'll go like a straight line, connect. That's the best way of sketching a graph of a polynomial. Do you see that? If you are given the zeros, that is how first knowing the multiplicity of the zeros and the location you can first sketch the zeros and then connect them with the help of smooth graph so that is the key now let's take some values right we're just building up a question for ourselves and let us say this value is let's say minus three okay in that case i'll make this as minus one and i'll take this as two so these are my values and at present I'm not taking any value for the y-intercept. We'll take it later. Okay, so let's begin by saying that we are looking for a degree 10 polynomial. Now this could be 3, 3 plus 1 is 4. To make it 10, this degree should be 6. Oh my god, okay. So that is one combination. Anyway, so what we will do is we'll write down all possible equations. So that is also a way of writing equations. So first one I'm saying we'll use this as degree 3 which is at minus 3. So x plus 3 we are assuming this to be of degree 3 then that's a linear so x plus 1 and the third one which is at plus 2 to make it 10 3 plus 1 4 it has to be of degree 6 and since we are not taking any point I will write down a to represent family right okay so that is one combination the other could be that we could have the first zero of degree six for example right so we say a times x plus three degree five five two more okay because this is odd degree right it goes like that right so at this point we have a tangent which is horizontal the linear will always be linear and now so six and then this could be of degree four right so x minus two degree four that could be possible equation also right another possible equation could be well a i am now considering this to be of degree seven so it'll be x plus three degree seven x plus one seven plus one is eight so it becomes square right mm -hmm. so that could be another way of writing equation for the same graph I hope you appreciate that for a given graph, if we do not spell out the multiplicity of the zeros and we just give you a graph, then there are many different equations, right? So in this case, we have one constraint that is degrees 10 of the polynomial, right? So that gives us these combinations of equations. Okay. Now, all are correct answers. Now, how do we find a specific equation for the given graph for that we actually need to know at least one point so for simplicity i'm taking y intercept as my point and let us say 
it is at 0 minus 1 right so I'm just taking very simple value let me write minus 1 here y intercept right so that is the x-axis and this is the function f of x if I know a point right then we can utilize coordinates of these points to find the value of a okay so any of these equations can be written with the, the point which is our y-intercept and we are using y-intercept as 0 minus 1 right so let us take which equation let me take this this equation okay so we'll now work with f of x equals to a times and I'll take x as 0 that means we have 3 to the power of 5 pi times 1 times 0 means minus 2 to the power of 5 and that should be equals to f of x here is minus 1 right that helps to find the value of a correct so what is a equals to so a is now equals to minus 1 divided by all this right 3 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 4 so let me write this becomes positive of course 3 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 4 that is the value of a you can always use calculator to find this value right so we are looking for 3 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 4 right so that gives us 3888 so it is minus 1 over 3888 right so we get a value of a and so a possible equation for the given graph is minus 1 over 3888 that's the value of a and the x intercepts x plus 3 so we have chosen the one where this degree is 5 x plus 1 times x minus 2 to the power of 4 right so that is how you can get equation of a polynomial given the graph and I hope with this versatile example you understand many things right as an exercise what you can do is you can use this point and find possible other two equations I hope you understand and appreciate it you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot about functions and advanced functions. Thank you and all the best.